Today's episode of Chainsaws Are Fun. So it is really, really pretty here today and we're kind of mapping out in our heads where the fruit trees are going to be. We're going to get rid of a lot of those trees, keep the ones that we really like. That is locust tree scum. The gang. tree scum. This is an area that we kind of think it's a lot more sun. It's almost like our glade, <laughs> but it's not quite because it's facing the wrong direction. But we might be able to get a couple prickly pears to grow here. I think this is an Osage orange. Scum too. Don't know what the heck this guy is. He's cool. I like him. He's staying. I always think we might just be able to get a good view of the snow where the dogs haven't walked yet and all the little critters, but that's impossible. This is our campsite today. Let me show you guys one of my favorite things about this property. This is like my best friend. This is the pea tent. <laughs> Today we got here, it was all frozen to the ground and we had to get this big thing of ice off of it that I threw somewhere. This sheet of ice was stuck on it weighing it down. We had to like pry everything off to try to get it up. Cause I'm not peeing out of here. Left out, I'm not wild. Don't eat yellow snow. Our creek ice isn't as pretty today, but it's still really nice. I still love it. Look at my ankle, she's having fun. She didn't get to see it the first time. She does not like the water. She's like a goat. I haven't even seen the other side of the creek with snow and ice on it. So I just kind of got a glimpse while we were driving past it and my dad stopped. Now we're gonna go check it out. As we drive past the pond, we accidentally scare a bunch of deer out of the woods and the Danes take off after them. But of course, I've dropped my phone in the snow, so I can't control Maple's shock collar and I have to go looking for it. But thankfully, Maple has become such a wonderful dog that she sticks with me and I am so proud of my little dog who used to run off. All right, no body this time. waiting for one of these knuckleheads to try to walk across it and fall in. You, Greta, you, Maple. Nova knows better. She wants to be as agile as Nova. Careful! 
She's so happy she's figured that out. <laughs> what is this? Now, we were thinking about maybe building a jungle gym for goats, but I'm reconsidering. I think we have to build one for the dogs, apparently. It's like there was a war here. Wonder how that turtle's doing right about now. 146 acres. And the dog is right here bumping me while I'm filming. I'm out looking to see if there is a concentration of tracks anywhere right around the pond. So if we can set up a trail camera, we might be able to get a couple different creatures on camera and see what comes and drinks here. Then we go check the den camera. This is like a little side creek we found behind the fields that we have in the back. Down every single like hill back behind the field, every single one of those fingerlings of trees, it goes down and there is a creek on every single little bit of forest going down every single hill. And eventually they turn into little limestone creeks. So it is the field after the field by the pond. Or go to the field by the pond. Boink. And now we are going to completely paint all of the pristine tracks. I think Maple is done for today, but we've just gotten to our glade, so we're gonna try to do a little bit of stuff and then we're gonna head out, I think. It's a bit cold. Shoes are getting wet, dogs shivering, acting pathetic. Yes, the only dog with a coat is the dog that's done. Oh, the sun's coming out. There we go, now I can really see these cedars. disappointed by the lack of she anything interesting the in the footage the from the trail camera by the pond. But oh, we're sure. very surprised by the interesting things we see by the den. In the trail camera by the pond, we don't really get anything this time around except for a bunch of possums and raccoons, so this is just the gist of it. Though we do get some footage of a red-tailed hawk. And he eats for like 20 minutes and then finally goes. The trail camera by the den is a totally different story. We got some surprises. There's a fox in the top left. I edited the video so you could see it moving a little bit better. Do, 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 do. Oh, um, hi there. Uh, what am I supposed to do? I just want to get through here. Uh, don't mind me. Um... As you watch this, notice how so many animals go over to that spot we think it might be a den and they smell it.
Why, of course! It's a squirrel den! Everyone knows that! Seriously though, it was probably used as a den at some point, but it got abandoned because people walked by or just didn't like it, and so now like other animals have taken it over and are just sort of using it for whatever they feel like, like storing their nuts like the squirrels do, maybe even possums living there occasionally. We might see something live there this spring, but who knows. I wonder if this thing runs. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you so bad. Yeah. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna miss you. Kill me. No. You kill me. No. I'm gonna take it on the stick. The little guy closest to us waits for the other one to leave, then runs over and looks Ooh, at what he wow. was burying. Where was he putting his stuff? Hope y'all enjoyed my lively additions.